Hello, my name is Barb Graff. I work for Echolocity. We are a business management and product management solutions company. We partner with many platforms in project management software. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Smartsheet and Monday and some of the features involved in both, where it really is the best tool to use for your Thank you for joining me. Let me introduce myself a bit. So I have been in process improvement in Six Sigma and um, for many years. I'm glad to be joining you today. Okay, so which tool is better? We're going to go over some features of both, some functionality of both, and kind of give you some of my insights in my experience. I have worked in both platforms for five years, have preferences for both for depending upon the project and the team that I'm working with. Just want to share some of those with you today. So what we'll talk about is I'm going to go through sheets and boards in Monday and Smartsheet. I'm going to go through how each one of the platforms creates forms and the utilization of those. A little bit about the, the charts that go along with the sheets and boards, building automations to make your projects move smoothly and forward in project management efficiency and then dashboards and then I'll just kind of give you my opinion at the end. Um, I'd love to hear which tools you use, why you like them, what you think you could apply for. So please do reach out if you have those thoughts. So in a nutshell, this is Barb's nutshell, Smartsheet gives you more freedom. It gives you flexibility in customization. Monday is more confining, it's more within a box, it gives you more structure, and Monday really holds your hand along the way. If you're not familiar with the software, not familiar with project management or data sheets, it really leads you along in the process. Smartsheet's going to be more you're picking the way you want to, to build the, the solution. Uh, so Sometimes I find in teams, I've had teams work in both, and I've had teams with clients transition from one to the other and go back. Monday is great if you have a very diverse set of teams, meaning they have different experience levels, they have different involvement levels, they're new to spreadsheets, they're new to data, they're new to project management. It's a great tool to bring in and kind of get the ball rolling. Smartsheet, I have experience where it's more of a mature project management environment where the project, they want analytics and they need functionality and they need flexibility in building formulas and linking and, and tying sheets together. So there's my nutshell of what it can do. Okay, so let's go over and talk about some functionalities in both systems. So here I have a demo environment built when it's for building a house in Smartsheet. So we'll start with that one first. So this is what we call a sheet. We call them project plans. We call them intake sheets, whatever your need is. We, so our sheet really comes up with a basic empty sheet. I think at the top, they usually have task, start, finish, assign to when they come up to a plain sheet. And then what you do as a project manager is you start building out the columns that you want to track data in. This is very manual. You, you know, pick a column, you name it, you pick what kind of column you want it to be, and you can change those along the way. This is duration, so it's not a good example, but you could say this is gonna be a date and you can tell how, what kind of date you want it to be. Over here on the right, you'll see that they have ant charts that go along with your timeline that you've built for your start and finish dates. It's over. You can see that. You can adjust these here so you can change them without having to go back over to your data itself. It gives you a full view. We have parent rows and then we have sub rows, task rows. One of the features I do like about in month, uh, excuse me, Smartsheet is you have unlimited tasks, subtasks, and then therapy down. One day it does limit you to two tasks and subtasks, so it does have that limitation if you're depending on how complex your needs are for each phase or section. That is a sheet in Smartsheet. So now we'll go over here to a board. 
Uh, let's see, I'll go here. Oops, main table. There we go. So this is what we call a board in Monday. It's very colorful. That is one of the features of Monday that they do love the color of the boxes, I say. And each one of these tables or tasks are going to have a main task and then you're going to have tasks and you can have one subtask under each one of these. Um, one of the things in Monday is the assigned to is going to be they say contact or they call it a people field. What it limits you to is that the person that you're adding has to have access to this sheet to be able to enter in their email. You can not enter someone who hasn't been invited into the environment, and that is one limitation do I do see. In a basic board, it'll come up with assigned to status, and then again, you build out the columns as you need them to be. It does have choices where this can be a drop down. You can edit the colors so that I make every board I have in Monday. I all the colors are the same, consistent across every board. So it's easier in reporting, I think. You can edit them and you can change the colors, you can change the order, you can rename. So that's very similar in both platforms. The timeline is a little different in Monday. It calculates it off and it puts it into one field. You do have a Gantt visibility, and you come up here. Sorry for a little bit of delay. And it does have a very similar Gantt chart to the Smartsheet one we shared. It's a little less detailed, I would say. You can change it over here. These colors are going to coincide to the colors that you have for that task group. So each group will have a different colors. You see this one, execution is orange, and my planning is pink. You cannot change those unless you go back to the main and change it there. So that is a board, uh, excuse me, table in Monday. You can do change your statuses, you can change your colors, uh, you can do dependencies and duration. So pretty much the basic features is just your, this is broken into groups instead of parent rows and your tasks and then your subtask and that is your limitation is two levels. Okay, so now let's talk about forms and we're in Monday so we'll stay here for a second. Each board can have a form that feeds into it. You click on form right here. I'm going to come over and I'm going to say I want to edit it so I can show you some functionality. In building a board in Monday, everything is in the center. And we'll talk about Smartsheet in a second where everything's left or right. Um, one of the things in a Monday board is you have some limitation once you create something and if you want to have in the form and you make it a drop down or you make it a checkbox, you cannot change that. You have to go delete item and bring it back in if you want to change it from a drop down to a checkbox. You can't change it in the functionality of the form. You have to delete it. You can rearrange questions and by clicking right here, you can drag it to be a different order. You can move a question down. There is, you can move a question up, but to rearrange something at the top, you kind of have to um, delete it and bring it back in. So it, it's a little more convoluted, I think. It, I would think it would be simpler. The other thing I think is a little limiting in the Monday forms is to set up conditional formatting is a bit more complicated than I think a form is in Smartsheet. So let's go look at the Smartsheet form. And you know, it doesn't, it matters, that matters when, depending upon what you need the form for, you know, so it, it isn't, it isn't a bad thing, it's just a difference, that's what I want to point out, nothing is. So if I come in here and I say that I want to build a form, my sheet's going to come in and it's going to take your column names and bring them in. And it's going to, you'll see, um, you're going to see the columns and you can bring them from here to here. You come over here and you can customize it. You can put a description. Your functionality is left and right to bring it into the form itself. One of the things we talked about in the other one is that if you want to change it 
to be a different type, you can do that here. I don't have to change, delete the question, and get back in. Both of them have features where it is a required question that you can toggle on and off. You can hide a question, so if there's a column you don't want everyone to see, you can hide it. Um, you can delete columns and just take it and move it over here, and it's going to take it out. And you can bring one back, and you can put it wherever you want. It isn't an up and down thing, and it isn't a drag. So it's very simple in that sense. Okay, so we went through boards and sheets. We went through forms. We went through Gantt charts. Oh, some dashboards. One of my favorite things. When I first started building them, they were, I will totally admit, I have come to love dashboards. Over here, we don't have to look at a dashboard. Oops, did I not have it? There we go. So this one I've built out in Monday, so that's my example. So one of the things about Monday dashboards is the colors that you had over in your board. Remember for those groups, those are going to come over into this dashboard. You can't change them here. The statuses like I had done, complete, not started, those are also going to come over in the same color. You cannot change them. Um, each one of these reports that I, I call them ports or charts that are coming off of that board that we built, each one of these you can go into and modify and you can duplicate them, you can uh, rename them, and you can go into settings. So if we go into settings, this is where you're going to customize each chart. You can change, where is it? You can change the chart type, very similar to Smartsheet, where you have different choices and flavors, I call them. You can come down here and you can select which board you want to pull the data in from. The one thing I will say in Monday is if I click on this chart, it will take me directly to the data. It, you cannot change that. It goes directly to that data and you can't modify that to go somewhere else to pull the data. That is one little difference. Um, I think both are very easy to build a dashboard in. I do a lot of, I'll create one and then I duplicate this and come over here and just change the settings to pull different data so that I'm, I'm repeating instead of building from scratch constantly. Um, both systems have where you can integrate and pull in links and integrate to other apps. So I would say that's a very common feature. The Monday dashboards again are very colorful. They like the Crayolas. And then let's go look at a don't be off, excuse me. Scoop down. Change it down. Don't we have a dashboard? Here we are. Here we go. Sorry about that. It's Friday afternoon. <laughs> okay, so um same thing. You can bring in um, a logo, you can change the colors. I do like the feature that in a smart sheet you can change the colors. I always customize my dashboard colors to my client's logo cover colors. So I think that kind of is a nice tie-in. You can add in their logo. The same thing, you can bring in a smart sheet. They're called widgets. You can bring it in. You can modify it the same way. It'll take you right back over to the data itself. You can change that in smart sheet. You can click right through to the data. You can change the colors. So I do think it has a bit more customization ability, a little more flexibility, I would say. So if we look at all that, so we looked at boards, we looked at sheets, we looked at forms, we looked at Gantt charts, and we looked at dashboards. Um, if I sum all that up, I like to say that Monday, is very holding your hand. They're going to walk you through how to set it up each step of the way. It's very tutorial is a good word. I kind of compare the two maybe like 
Monday, you're like in grade school, but your teacher's teaching you something. It's very routine. It's very laid out. In Smartsheet, you're more like in college. You get an assignment, go write an essay. You have to go figure out how to do it. You have to build it and the outline. You have to build the, the sections of the sheet, I mean, of the paper. So it's, a, it's much more you're in control and Monday is, so I like to say that Monday you're coloring inside of the lines and smart sheet and coloring house life. I would say as a beginner user or as a global company, and if you have people of all different diversity levels and functions in their job, that Monday is easier to use. Some of my clients comp on. I think feature wise, Smartsheet's very rich in features. And it has great features. It just doesn't have as vast a toolbox of features. So the formulas you can put in, they're still formulas. They all work. But it's a little less data analysis intense, I would say. Both of them have great integrations into many, many different platforms and software. So I would say that's a tie. Project management, this is the way I like to explain it. I think that in Monday, if your company has a very, excuse me, set of projects, um, finance is doing something, HR is doing something, uh, somebody else is doing something else, that variety of projects, then they're probably going to have different boards built, and that's going to work well. The projects that are very complex, they're like instituting a new net suite into your company. That's pretty complex. It touches so many different systems and integrations and vendors, and everything. It's probably better to have it in Monday, uh, excuse me, Spicesheet, because you're going to have a bigger box of tool set to be able to work it. I do think that Smartsheet is a little more customizing than Monday is more. This is the way it is. This is the way you set it up. And this is what you're going to get, type of thing. It totally depends on your team, what you're trying to accomplish, the, the complexity of your of your projects. I think both are great platforms. I think both have great features. I think both have pluses and minuses. And it just really depends upon what you need to do in your company. So thanks for joining me today. And if you have any questions, please do reach out. My email is barb at equivocity.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions or I'd love to hear which tools do like. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.